I'm Star Wars. Look at this, watch this. This is the Falcon from the hit film Solo, it's A Star Wars accurate. Story. Yeah. Even, even the little plating comes off. We're just like a bunch of grown up white man babies. I love Star Wars. Banana, banana. Wait, the Millennium Falcons don't fight each other. Oh. What are you, stupid? Star Wars. Fuck this. Get this crap out of here. This crap. We've got real work to do, gentlemen. Oh. Like what? We have a wheel of the worst in front of us. Oh my god. It has tortured us for years. Randomly selecting terrible videos that are painful to watch. Leaving only the most disturbing nightmares and scarring the mind for life. Many have tried to destroy it, but true evil never dies. It is only reborn. It's now time to spin the wheel of the worst. I mean, misfortune. Well, I guess this is how we'll spend our valuable time together, watching terrible videos and DVDs, right. randomly selected from the wheel of misfortune. Oh, how much longer can I do this for? Doctor says I got a bum liver. Okay. So much time left on this planet. Bum liver? Bum oh, did liver. I say that all out? Oh. Like, I have the liver of a bum. Oh. <laughs> I, that's how excessively I drink. Also, the liver is bad. Did you get it from a bum? I did. I, I had to have an emergency liver liverectomy. They replaced my liver, but they can only get one from an alcoholic homeless man. So it was about the same. Was this, where did you get this done? There's some kind of like, like it was in a nail salon. <laughs> but the, the Asian woman assured me she was a doctor. Oh, okay. So she put the liver in your bum? Yeah, at first. Right. And I had to explain to her that it's like right here, pretty much. It's, a, it's in a different spot. It's like right. So. She got out an anatomy book, although I think it may have been a People magazine. Ah. <gasps> Anyways, our first film is called World Wide Web of Deceit. Um, I guess these are the authors. James Robinson and Steve Lane are the creators of it. Maybe it's these two kids. The, the, hey, Mr. Wiggle Sessions, Volume 1, King Tut style. Oh my god. With gangster writing. <laughs> We've seen this before. I feel before, like I've huh? said this before. But this has been on the wheel before. Yeah. It has. Yeah, you can check his website, Mr. Wiggles. Hiphop.net. Net. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a fake address. So, I don't know, I'm assuming this is some kind of like dance video. Yeah, don't worry, we're not gonna land on it. Don't worry. What's, uh, what's up next, Colin? Oh, Richie Derwald. We've seen this one before, too. He's uh, covered in barbecue sauce. Yeah, he looks like uh, a rotisserie chicken or someone put a blonde wig on a Peking duck. <laughs> and he signed it. It's, it is an autographed Wait, copy. I thought yeah. that said Rachel dead. <laughs> it's a haunted tape. <laughs> oh my god. It's like the ring. Well, this next tape is for both of you guys. Oh my god. Introducing. Hug a tree and survive. No, no, read the spine. Oh, hug a tree and survive Canada. Huh. Yeah. Well, clearly it's like a nature video. Um, probably, I was, I was thinking like Smokey the Bear, like how to prevent forest fires, but the, the weird thing is it's Hug a Tree and Survive Canada. Right. I, I, I wanna say Hug a Tree and Survive is a series of videos. And this is and this Canada. This is Canada, but they didn't use any kind of punctuation yeah. to indicate that. Rent a friend. Hi, I wanna be your friend. Unbelievable, Oprah Winfrey. Is he, a, <laughs> is he a joke? Is he for real? You decide. Rent a friend. America's original video companion. Available for the first time since 1987. As seen on Letterman, Oprah, People Magazine. Oh. CNN. That's where my doctor gets her information. Oh, apparently Oprah needed a friend. Oh. Doesn't she have Stedman? <laughs> that was make a Stedman joke. The, the smoothest, keenest friend possible. The Washington Post. 
I cannot believe that's real. Maybe the unbelievable comment is just her saying, unbelievable, I can't believe someone would make this fucking At thing. some point, Oprah did say unbelievable, unbelievable. in her life. Dot, dot, so dot. it's an accurate quote. Or maybe he finds Oprah Winfrey unbelievable. Oh. I just wanted to put that on the DVD. <laughs> I find Oprah Winfrey unbelievable. Well, Don't is, you? There is like a space here, so it's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> there is an accidental space there. <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, oh, my God. Well, he's, he's the original. He's the original. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Uh, David Carradine's Tai Chi workout, the fitness program that began 2,500 years oh, ago oh boy. when he was first starting his career. Probably. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice cover. This is part, the, uh, the packaging suggests there was some care put into this. Um, that, that and Richie Durwald's case also suggests that, but get your autoerotic asphyxiation jokes ready. All right. Because it's time to talk about celebration of age. The cro <laughs> crowning, croning the ceremony. The croning ceremony. Jim, tell us, tell us all about uh, this one. Celebration of age, the croning ceremony. Joyous and inspirational older women sharing stories and wisdom, history and heritage. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're in for a ride. I'm not even sure what this is a picture of. Oh, is that heaven? <laughs> is that a... I can't even make heads or tails of that. I don't know. It's some weird abstract piece. And yeah, with, super, with, with the eyes. How is the croning? Like an old crone? <sighs> I hope we land can't on wait. it because you hate the elderly. <laughs> I don't hate all elderly. Just, just most. Just, just the living ones. <laughs> just the ones that are still alive and in my way. <laughs> Speaking of which. Now, yeah, a, a, a wonderful transition to our next tape. Arranging a funeral. What really happens. Michael, what really happens. So, uh, we get to see how the sausage is made. <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> so to speak. In LA and Vancouver, British Columbia. Oh, neat. Apparently there's lots of people dying That's on the West Coast. just die on the border in both <laughs> countries. <laughs> We're gonna bury that one half up here and the other half down there. Arranging two half funerals. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, really works. You, you start with the saw and two half coffins. Family can fight over who gets grandma's lower half. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say anymore. Nightmare never ends. Who's it? Stand? Stand to pee. Stand to pee.com. This is actually a website. Rich, why is this on here? Who did this? Teaching women how to pee standing up. <laughs> Our next tape. S&M, sweat and muscle, oh, dot com. The dominatrix workout. Kick the dick the gimp. <laughs> <laughs> Le Lezer mistress Desdemona. Get fit and, and to be tied. Mistress Jane. Dick the Gimp. Oh my god. It's right. I thought you were joking. That's another volume one. Huh. I know, I know who filled the tape, this wheel up with tapes. Next up is uh, the Talking Heads video, Open Flame with David Byrne, grades 7, 8, and 9. Mm. I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know. Is his head melting through the window pane? Well, the side says, it says code. It's the Canadian Offensive on Drug Education. Oh. So this is a Canadian drug educational version video. Of the Canadian version of D.A.R.E. I don't know. This, this cover makes drugs look awesome. Brawlin' Broads, hosted by the Boone Brothers, uh, for mature audiences. Hmm. So this is like, uh, is it like Foxy Boxing or something like that? Uh, or uh, maybe it's more like bum fights. Bum fights. So someone's going to die uh, at the uh, end of this. Are these the Boone Brothers? I would imagine. Because so. he looks pretty young. Is this like for mature audiences? He looks like he's eight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he just has like 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 a, 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 a disease. I'm getting like an American flatulators vibe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's not a good. If bite. they're not real fighters, it, this is all just going to be some fakey oh, Lord. sort of like glow, you know, like the fake foxy wrestling. I think it's worse than we ever thought. Oh no! This tape, I already wanted to have a shower, and I just looked at the box. So it's time to spin the wheel. 
All right, Colin, let's spin the wheel. Wait, 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 wait. I seem to remember you guys having some trouble last time. One, two, three. <laughs> How about I spin the wheel? All right, here we go. Here it goes. Oh, Lord. Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh! oh! That was really, really close. It's the celebration of age. The croning ceremony. Libertina. Sita. Ishtar. Ishtar! Ishtar! <laughs> <laughs> Hecate. Kwai Yin. Is she summoning like an ancient demon or something? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> She's summoning old ladies. <laughs> we have celebrated the commonality of women's. She looks like Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it's uh, Louis Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> and are beginning to move into a new phase. We have celebrated that new phase with a phone ritual. Every day we are born. Why are you filming Grandma? You know she's got dementia. <laughs> <laughs> Many women write verse, essays, poetry, or words of wisdom. Like Lois. I'd like to talk to you about the next Star Wars spin-off <laughs> film. Oh, Star Wars a crone story? <laughs> you get you get Jabba the Hutt's mother, Mon Mothma. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, oh, yeah. There's not a lot of old ladies in Star Wars. Leia. I would say Aunt Beru, but she got burnt up. <laughs> <laughs> She's there in spirit. She got Aunt Beru's Jedi spirit. Okay. <laughs> Who does she look like? Yeah, she looks like like um, a man. Like which man? I mean, sure the mean. face. Brian Denny. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Looks like Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. <laughs> 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 Alright, Colin. Wait, hold on, Jay. I got it framed up from Mike. Okay. Okay. Uh, Colin, go ahead right. and spin the wheel. Let's do this. Come on, Richie Durwood. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh! No. oh. 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 Uh, hug a tree and survive Canada. Yeah. Let's find out how to do both of those things. A tree is a safe place to be. And if you're ever lost in the woods, a tree can be your best friend. So, hug a tree. <laughs> Give me fire water if you want to hear the end of story. Terrible. <laughs> 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 can any of this be used? <laughs> oh, if Richard says it, I'll use it. <laughs> What the, hell? <laughs> the bag will keep moisture out and my body heat in. Put yourself inside a plastic bag. Oh. You will make things slightly easier for the authorities if you put yourself in the body bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a hole. We got him, boy. Had him, boy. Where are you? Get him. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> he also waved his bag so they could see him. He's right there. He's right there. <laughs> they see you now. He's gonna drop the bag. Don't, and hug, leave it. don't hug her child, you creep. And then he littered. It's me, me mom. And then it cuts back to him. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm really your mom. Rich Evans, I love this brand new wheel that you've created. What'd you make it out of? I, I made it out of wood. That's really impressive. I really hope we land on a worldwide spider web of deceit. Uh, well, I'm, I'm hoping for that one too. So Jim and or Colin, it's up to you to save the day. Sure, I'm Jim. Oh, right, right, yes. I'm gonna spin the wheel. Go fucking do it. Oh! 
Oh! Oh no, you removed the wheel. The shot's been ruined. Spider webs! No! Oh! What the fuck, man? my back. I threw my back out, hopping up and down in excitement. Oh god. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it's like tech war. <laughs> Only better! <laughs> <laughs> Why was there a detour sign? What does that have to do with the internet? Look, mom, the internet. <laughs> uh, again, that is something that the child just gives information about themselves. The child needs to have. She looks like she's bored of her own voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my eyes, I can't keep them open. <sighs> so they just lead you until they try to find something that is in, that you're interested in. That's right. Something that strikes a person's particular fancy or interest, whatever. And they, they like I said, they went to put. Teen. Teenagers. Yeah, teenagers. <laughs> for, for instance, big black booty. <laughs> <laughs>with four tapes. And we're all fucked. Someone's fucked. If everyone's got to describe one, so that really it doesn't matter <clears throat> who. We, we may as well go in, in order. We'll go, yeah, we could just assign sequential order from left to right that'll make it real exciting for our home audience. <laughs> I'll start. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about our first film. Pancreatic cancer. <laughs> <laughs> you have been diagnosed with dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> Celebration of age, the croning ceremony, joyous and inspirational older women sharing stories and wisdom, ellipses, history and heritage. Well, well, the video starts off naming about 500 famous women, and then it basically says if you're a crackpot in the southwest <laughs> on a commune, you can pretend you are a, a person of value. A croning ceremony is when you're really an old lady and you do like a hippie ceremony and you, you, you say you are wise and old and we, you have something to share with the world. And then someone makes a crown for you. The crown is a symbol of what a woman has accomplished. And then they can make a crown. You can choose not to have it. It's but a, they don't call it the crowning, they call it the croning. Crone. Yeah. A crone is a, a, like the phrase, you old crone. Uh, it's just an old lady. Like the dance of birth, it's just 55 minutes of new age nonsense where nobody says anything of any value. Women are telling their stories. Women are finding their voices. Women are reconnecting to their power. Uh, and they just ramble on and on about croning and when you know, the tribes had the old crones and then the, Beat the drum, and I, they just say things. It, it means nothing. It sounds like psycho babble about mindfulness, the importance of being mindful in your day to day, and then it's it's and it's laced with like songs and try, trying to have pretty philosophies about what it is to be a woman in connection to nature. I vow to pursue deep and personal growth, autonomy, environmental harmony, positive relationships and greater self-acceptance. It's just a bunch of women droning on and on, and I kept waiting for a man to come in and, and focus them into some sort of conversation, but it never happens. The croning ceremony, um, originally for one reason or another, were uncomfortable with the idea of ceremony and ritual, found themselves deeply and powerfully involved and captivated by this ceremony. Um.
but uh, it kind of like starts out and you're thinking, okay, maybe this is like a celebration of women or uh, be proud of like the, the women in history and what they've contributed uh, to the world. But then I, they start talking about this crowning ceremony and it almost seems like we were getting this idea that it was gonna be this subversive like witchcraft video. Wheels of time are turning, turning, turning. Solar fires are burning, burning, burning. Why do you do the ceremony? What is a crone? What is the benefit of being a crone? What does it mean to be a crone? Hey, that's all that falls in the gobbledygook. It's a gobbledygook. Yeah. It's, just it's a lot of gobbledygook. So it should be a celebration of gobbledygook. And so what happens is that the crones find themselves in the center where they are honored by all the other women. Uh, it's, it's to honor honor the stage of life with family and friends. What stage of life? The, the old, final. The old. old. <laughs> Is there like a, an age cutoff? It's like, okay, now you're a crone elder because you turn 65. Is that like retirement age? Women in their late 50s, 60s, 70s. There's no specifics listed on the Do these women have jobs? No. No. They, 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 That's they how they range. have time for a croning ceremony. Oh my God. So they range in age from 30 to, I don't know, miscellaneous? They have so much time that they have to start making up shit. Yeah. To fill their time with. Croning doesn't belong to just one small group of women. It belongs to all women. What is the purpose of this video? To show in a women's studies class in a community college. and then softly fading, just as a new bud begins to open and bloom. Maybe I'm amazed at the way <laughs> you love me all the time. Paul playing the piano. Doing a new song about witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> this song is called Cronin. <laughs> Some musical interludes were better than others. The maybe, maybe, maybe I'm amazed. Maybe I'm amazed yeah. rip-off section was... Paul McCartney, sure. Was, uh, but the thing is, like, she, she seemed really proud of that, though. There was a quality to her where she was like, "Oh, I know this is a good song." I was just gonna say, what if you like wailing on a drum, like over and over and over? Badly. Earth, air, fire, and water. Oh, I love earth, air, wind, and fire. <laughs> Remember, I just pound the drum. <laughs> oh, oh no, she's on the, the sinking ship or something. <laughs> she's on the Titanic. <laughs> and then we we see another lady who wrote her own song. Basically, I wanted it to represent all the spiritual, earthy values of the planet and her life. Wise woman, wise woman, wise woman, sitting here. Wise woman, wise woman, wise woman here. Wise woman, young woman, nestling me at her breast. Wise woman, young woman, giving me her breast. Oh, God. Wise woman, wise oh, this is so woman, awesome. This is like a Harmony Kareen movie. Wise woman, wise woman. <laughs> You're a mother, you're a mother, you're a maid, you're a mother, you're a mother, you're a maid. Wise woman, wise woman. Oh, that was it. That's it, yeah. Wise woman, 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 wise woman. Stop it. You're you're confusing her with the old grandma banging on the drum. The lady who wrote her own song was a surprisingly decent melody. I was proud of her. Okay. Yeah. But we, okay. the star of the show is the elderly lady with the drum. Oh we my God. Oh wandered my. out of a mental hospital. <laughs> Shot with like a 5,000 millimeter lens. <laughs> not not, from not like Babe like two Ruth. miles. Oh, Babe Ruth. Oh, Babe Ruth. <laughs> oh my God. There's the, the, in Babe Ruth's elder years, he thought he was a lady and he wound up in Arizona on a female com commune. He was hiding from like the government. He owed taxes. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna go hide over there. An unusual form. So this crazy woman in the in Which the one? in the back. 
you be more specific? The, the crazy Ruth and Ty Cobb and Drag and a commune. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy woman who is terrible at the bongos yes, and every percussive yes. instrument that she had. She had like a multitude of like different. It had this sort of like she had the pyramid one. Pyramid thing yes. with like a hole. It was almost like a. It was a hollow pyramid and a pop. It's like hole. that Indian uh, oh, instrument. Yeah. That, yeah. Ancient mother, I hear your She doesn't even know anyone's filming her. It's like a very long lens. Yeah, why is it so far away? Mother, I'm too embarrassed to be seen with her. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do your thing. I'll be shooting from two miles away. <laughs> <laughs> a safe distance behind the plexiglass. The old lady with the drum in the back, like, or in, in the backyard or whatever, like she's drumming and then she, and she says, next I'm going to do like uh, an improvisational song that I'm just making up as it goes along. And then she plays it and she sings it. It really doesn't sound that different than the other songs. No, all the songs sound like they were just made up. She changes everything she touches. Everything she touches changes. Yeah, they kept cutting between her and then the woman on the piano with the crone action figures. Oh yeah, she was like singing to these little action <laughs> figures and they were kind of hunched over. The, the lady who could play the piano in the Uhura costume, although we don't actually see her fingers on the keys. So it's, it's questionable whether or not it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> um, we see the lady play the flute, but it's from quite a distance. That also is staged. Uh, the one that was a total fraud was the lady who went, went back to Ireland for her Celtic oh, roots. Oh my God. And she's got, I, I got this Irish harp here. She starts to add a little, yeah. little accent. You know, she doesn't have that back in the States. She's yeah. from New Jersey. So uh, when I was there, I had several uh, truly extraordinary, uh, I would call spiritual experiences. Um, <laughs> uh, but when she's in Ireland, she has a little bit of the accent. Celtic lilt. Uh, here's my Celtic Celtic harp, and she goes, do, 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 do. like like just randomly selects strings and then goes. Yeah. I won't play any more for you now. She says I won't want to sh embarrass the, myself. That's the extent of my repertoire. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. That's my repertoire for the moment. But she's, that lady was a fraud. She's a fucking fraud. First of all, she says she goes to Ireland and then they're showing pictures of Ireland that <laughs> you assume are pictures that she took on her trip to Ireland, but they're clearly just postcards Post because you can see it cut off. It says Ireland and, it's the just, from and Ireland. you can see it's yeah. just resting on a, on a like tabletop or something. Uh, it seemed very important. Um, Hey, that's where they filmed Star Wars. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. That's just Luke Skywalker's Jedi Temple yeah. right there. Hot damn. Uh, well, ba back to celebrating the non-accomplishments of elderly women. <laughs> God almighty. Through a fake ceremony. Uh, I guess fine. they're trying to... You know, they're, they're not hurting anybody. If you want to drag an old lady out into the woods and throw some flowers on her head, that's fine. Is, uh, is there a specific like crone age or can you be like a 20 year old crone? I don't really understand. Well, they said there were CITs, it was crones in training. Then there are those of us who are known as the CITs, the crones in training. Um, <laughs> this, this is, is like an Scientology thing. or something. Yeah, yeah kind of. It's, it's, it's weird. But with no end game. Scientology is actually better thought out. Is it like a, would it be like a murder of crones? You're trying to <laughs> Well, let's talk about some of our narrators. We have lady whose brain has been damaged by LSD. All across the country. Um, so, yeah, it was a hard time forming sentences. I guess like the one you'd probably call the host. Yeah, yeah. She almost seems like an instructor, a teacher at like like a community college that teaches a women's studies class. She's so baked. Yeah. We had. Um... Did you have to actually teach something to be a teacher? Like you have to have information that's of value. Every woman who has gone through her decades, become a crone. I picked but up your trash. But you couldn't handle it. I picked up your you trash. You left some padding and you left some cat litter. Is a woman to be honored, a woman with great wisdom. And if it's a four bag limit, let me say this to the universe, 
and you go to a customer's garbage cans and they got five bags, then you charge them for one extra. A, a woman from whom we all have a great deal to learn, a woman whose stories matter tremendously. But yeah, you can tell that she's the intellectual of the group. Yeah. And then there's like there's like uh, Babe Ruth and, uh, with the wig on, who who has like their own personal stories. And then, you know, there's like, oh, I did this, and you know. But um, and then and then the real real authoritarian on the subject is Kathleen Kennedy at the yes. end. Oh yeah. She's she's in the middle of a rainstorm uh -huh. and she's explaining to us all about croning. Solo was the croning achievement of her career. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The Crone the, the Wars. Wars. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. Begun the Crone Wars has. <laughs> He's got an army of crones. <laughs> Paul McCartney's in it? No. <laughs> oh, was that that's Obi Wan that's, Kenobi? That's a bad Obi Wan. So we have the planet where Luke is hiding and Kathleen Kennedy, mm -hmm. both in celebration of age. Star Wars celebration of age. <laughs> $185 a ticket for a weekend pass. We get, to, we, get to, we get to pay to go to get a um, Kathleen Kennedy's croning ceremony. <laughs> Now we're talking about Hug a Tree and Survive Canada. Colin, oh. do you remember this one? A little bag, a little boy in a plastic bag. I do, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, oh my Good god. Good this bag was orange. Yeah, how else? Or, or yellow. Red will attract the bears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want that. Oh my god. Um, you okay. tell us all about Hug a Tree and Survive Canada. Hug a Tree and Survive Canada is sort of like a safety video. It sort of says on the on the cover, it's like a search and rescue prevention uh, safety video for children. Doesn't seem to be advice about preventing anything though. It is the worst advice you could imagine. Like, uh, so it kind of starts out with these parents, or starts out with like this guy talking to a group of children around a fire. It's native like a, person. A Native uh, American gentleman. So the, the group leader in Hug a Tree, he yes. gives wise advice. He does, so he's it's sort of like, advice, it, yeah. it opens, he's like sort of telling a tale and uh, you know, he says, oh, I remember, and he's his sort of advice is to hug a tree. And I guess, you know, Richie kind of broke that down. It's basically saying, if you get lost in the woods, stay put. Oh yeah, hug a tree. It's not gonna get him out of the situation. No. But it's gonna keep bears from eating him if he climbs up into the tree unless somebody comes by to save his ass. Just hug his ass. Hug his ass? Just like find a skeleton hugging a tree. <laughs> Three months later. Help you feel better and keep you in one place so we can find you. Look, this, this, all of this, it's all a smokescreen. The, 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 the only, the entire point is. Hey, cell phone man, get off Twitter and get me a beer. Can I have a shandy too? Can I have a shandy yeah, too? Yeah, we're please? sitting here. We're, we're, what is this, prohibition? You're, you're playing on your <laughs> fucking phone. And the other thing is, it's like hug a tree. Okay, that's the premise of this. But in the end, the native guy says, you know what? It's actually best to just lie spread eagle on a meadow. It's kind of oh, like, yeah, forget about right. this. Forget everything I said about the trees. Hug a tree. Go into a meadow, lie spread eagle with your orange plastic bag so we can spot you, or make a big SOS sign out of rocks that has nothing to do with trees. And the search and rescue team comes and they say, oh, which way did your, your child go, ma'am? And she says like, oh, that way, north. Which way did he go? The last time that I saw him, uh, he went that way. Actually, John's mother pointed the wrong way. And then he says, Nope. <laughs> that was the wrong was way. way he, went. he went south. I think she was panicked. She looked like a drug addict. She didn't though. look panicked. <laughs> she did. They were so calm and collected when they walked up to the to the forest. It was ranger. part of the husband's plan to get rid of the kid. <laughs> the husband was very strange. He had a Hitler mustache within a mustache. Yeah. yeah. He kind of looked like an action figure. He looked, he yeah. looked like yeah. a, a, a like a like a like a seventies comic book character, but or something. a bad action figure that loses his son. Yeah, and he didn't seem <laughs> too concerned. 
In fact, John's parents called the park warden. They don't seem very worried. It's the next day. <laughs> Their little kid wandered off, and, and that was part of the plan. Yeah, yeah. it was like, no, the dad we gotta, later, we gotta get rid of this kid, but... Yeah, so we can go to, like, swinger parties and snort oxy. <laughs> <laughs> Consequence-free, you know, but if we have a kid, we might get in trouble, so... Unfortunately, the kid had a garbage bag with him and that foiled his plants. <laughs> that was weird, because you see the mom, like, he, giving He it wanted to, to feed the bears, if you know what I mean. <laughs> The Native American man does not specifically mention cutting a hole. Oh, he, no, he did. Uh, I think he did. He did said, he? yeah, he said, but cut he didn't a hole. say it first. It was after he put it on. And yeah. then he, and he said, you don't have to put one for your, your arms or oh, whatever. He? And he just said, okay. just for your face. But you could sort of tell he didn't want to talk about it. And only make a hole for your face. <laughs> well, he doesn't like children. <laughs> he wants to get rid of the white man. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> the kid was smart enough to tuck his socks, in, uh, his pants into a sock so yeah, that okay. rats didn't crawl up his pants and eat his genitals. Should we move on to Mr. Wiggles? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being the voice of reason here, Jim. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> on to our next state, Mr. Wiggles. Jim, you get to talk yeah, about Mr. Wiggles. Yeah, Mr. Wiggles is a Nevada-based, Las Vegas-based uh, uh, dancer who's into rap and funk, uh, and he's put out a bunch of uh, dance training tutorials to teach you how to dance like him. That guy's mad. He's at, he's at his sports bar. Oh, so just run out and beat him. What if he just he never stops? It's like a day in his life, and he's literally just doing that. From the time he wakes up in, in the, the morning, shower, constantly, constantly. He's like w working the drive-through at McDonald's. <laughs> day every, job. Every day, Mr. Wiggles struggles with Super Parkinson's. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is uh, Mr. Wiggles' disease. Yeah. yeah, they named it after him. This is him just like sitting there. Can't yeah, he doesn't want to be doing this. His brain is creating these patterns and making his body move. This is actually a sad documentary. There's always yeah. somebody standing off to the Folding side. Folding their arms? It's really difficult when he has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 urine everywhere? That's everywhere. It's a, it's a mess. <laughs> so he's kind of a break dancer. He's really into popping, which I guess is like... Popping, and I, I, can't, I can't do it as, as well as he can, but uh, he does a lot of... He does this. It's tut style. He does a tut, like a tut. Yeah. Tut. Um, but it looks more like a duck, as far as I'm concerned. And he does a lot of finger popping and stuff like this, uh, which I'm doing it about as good as he does it. Yeah. I, you know, he's not particularly good at no. it. That's that's the interesting part. Uh, and it's the quality of the video is terrible, so you can actually really tell if he's good or not. There are moments where it's like that look kind of good, but then he loses it two seconds later. Um, I. Th I think the video is, there are about 15 segments, all of them way too long. Uh, and uh, he does actually show him in, in a training dance instructing scene mm -hmm. with a bunch of other people. At the very, very end. Yeah, and they're all doing the dance much better than he is because he sucks. <laughs> He doesn't stop. It is 16 minutes straight of him dancing to the same fucking looped beat over and over and over. Which is like the poor man's version of Rocket by Herbie it's Hancock. Like, <laughs> you hear the hear <laughs> tut, King, King Tut. King Tut. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, and he doesn't stop. Uh, he's uh, he's very you know very confident. Um, Overly so. <laughs> he he uh he says you know what I'm saying a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. And try, you know what I'm saying. Everything. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. And make up. You know what I'm saying. And create different shapes. You know what I'm saying. You, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> what are we so talking? So about? you just put your thumb here and do this. <laughs> or you know don't do that. Do this instead. Oh you know it's fine. Whatever you want to do. He's, he's, he sounded like bad <laughs> cell phone reception. He's like, I don't know, the pop and, and you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like and at an angle. Check it out. Mr. Wiggle Sessions video volume one, King Touch style. This is not the Mr. Wiggle's part three video. 
we were wondering, Rich was wondering about the medical condition of Mr. Of, Wiggles. Of Mr. Wiggles. <laughs> we think, thinking you are really good at something, uh, we we're just throwing around delusional or just basic terminology like that where he's doing like he's doing this dancing and maybe in the the sub community of pop and lock of wigglers King, King <laughs> the, <laughs> the wiggler wiggler, community <laughs> the wiggler community maybe he is very good at doing what he's doing but to the layman like us we're just like another thing i would probably like to do with touch is like when you're hitting these basic poses rolling the hands so you can hit a pose and then roll them you can hit another one roll it you know what i'm saying no, he's not that good because during this video, yes, you showed me something on your phone, which is somebody doing this shit, yeah. but it was awesome. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, that, yeah that's, that's a famous viral internet video of like somebody some somewhere. Really oh, young guy. Like, he yeah, like he's and like he's 15. like, you know, you know, he's doing the, like, r r like not the robot, but he's like contorting his body, yeah. and he, and he's not really dancing. He's just more like showing off his like how limber so he is. So fluid and amazing. Yeah, yeah, and he does like kind of a stop motion thing and it's really amazing. Everyone's in the audience was screaming and this guy looks like if any one of us did that mm -hmm. and tried to do it, we're about as good as Mr. Wiggles. There's a thing, all right, that can happen where stupid people tend to overvalue their own abilities because they are too stupid to realize they don't have those abilities. <sighs> Oh my love, oh my darling, I hunger for your touch. When it's cold outside, I've got the middle of May. Let you know you love me when my diamond ring, I want to keep you in my heart. They're oblivious to their own limitations. Yes. And I was saying it was like the opposite of like imposter syndrome that people get when they're competent people get. Yeah. They're very talented and they sort of think like, oh my God, I'm a fraud. Yeah. Like, how did I get here? Uh, it's the opposite of that. Yes. It's like when you suck and you think you're amazing. Yeah. And he had all those people in the training seminar, yeah. like that kind of like panned over. There was a lot of people in that seminar. Maybe some of them feel sorry for him. And he was just. <laughs> that could be it. The self confidence out, outweighs the actual talent. How much of it could be just the shitty way it's filmed? No. But that's, that picture of him is clearer than anything in the video. Oh, yeah, by far. Like, for, we were questioning whether or not it was the same guy half the time. You couldn't tell, yeah, you were saying like... We were wondering if Mr. Wiggles was like plural for more than one Mr. Wiggle. It looks like wikis. Kang tits. Something. Kang tits? Kang -tits. Kang -tits. <laughs> Mr. Wiggies, Kang tits. Mr. Wiggies, Kang tits. <laughs> I don't know. And the, but the weird part is, is like, he, he's doing the King Tut style, right? And he's like, you know, like constantly, like the raver dancing, like, but then when he's instructing his class, it's like it's completely different. It's like, yeah. Well, that was bonus footage that wasn't the Tut style. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, but the video says strictly Tut style. But that was bonus footage, oh, not part yeah, of right. the regulation oh. video, Rich was, Jim. A, Rich was a producer. Point taken, get off my back. <laughs> Maybe that's from volume three. It's kind of it kind of reminded me of the Black Street Boys tape. Yeah, where, where you're it's just too like, much. Yeah, too much footage, too long. What are you doing? What's your focus? Mm -hmm. Is this for our entertainment to watch him do all of his King Tut moves, or are you trying to teach us at home how to do the King Tut moves ourselves? Mm -hmm. Because you're really not. You know, you're kind of just explaining what you do, but you're not helping us to learn the King Tut style. So is this entertainment or is it ed educational? Who knows, it's a sloppy mess and it's terrible. What is, like, it's like a security camera. <laughs> <laughs> like he's, he's outside your front door. <laughs> and just, you, you just hear the music. You're, <laughs> you're watching him oh, through yeah. the little app oh, or no. the doorbell thing. <laughs> Mr. Wiggles, go away. <laughs> the pizza guy won't Stop. leave. <laughs> the pizza guy keeps trying to show me his pants. He's just clothes. talking to himself. What was yeah. it, like 1995? Yeah. So 1995, if you put this in your VCR in 1995, the quality would be terrible. Like it's just, it's <laughs> not good yeah. enough. <laughs> it's not good yeah. enough to learn from. Cork up. This is the old tut right here. Ugh, it's like, a, like, it's got the shitty quality audio and video of like a beheading. <laughs> 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 
These are our demands. <laughs> <laughs> These are our demands. <laughs> Give us what we want, or we'll make you watch Mr. Wiggles. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to keep going. Would you rather see the front? Rich, when you grab that tape, yeah. I thought you were just going to pick it up and throw it. And, and my heart said, oh, thank God. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take, if it moves us on. You know what I'm saying? You. Yeah, I, I know. It's my turn here. It's, yeah, this is. Uh, you know all about pornographic websites. <laughs> a worldwide web of deceit yeah. is is a video about how the internet is is bad because pornography and pornography is bad and Jesus. It's a trick video. Okay. It's it's, it's a bait and switch. It's a bait and switch. It's made to look like oh, how to protect your children from the internet. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the underpinning of it is a, 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 some kind of religious pastor. You kind of got it right off the bat. Oh, yeah. You may be caught in the World Wide Web of Deceit. <laughs> Hi, I'm so-and-so. Yeah. Hello, I'm James there Robinson. And I welcome what? you to the video presentation we have titled World uh -oh. Wide Web of Deceit. He, We're referring he to shouts the Christian pastor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting a, a pastor. Oh, yeah, once I heard him talking. Evangelical. I met the Lord watching your show. <laughs> oh, God, we've been tricked. Why did he say? I met the Lord. The Lord. Oh, oh yeah. gosh, damn it. Once you saw the hand, yeah. the hand gestures. Yes. He had, the, he had the, the speaking hand gestures and, you know, the, like. And even the set looked like, yeah. you know, the set there was lighting. Something about him. The cadence, the way he spoke. Yeah, yeah. I talk about Jesus. Yes. That's how he sounded. You knew he was a pastor and you knew that the Jesus was coming into it. Um, and it, it is on the surface about the dangers of the internet, but, but it's really about... Through a warped Christian lens. Mm -hmm. It's really about the dangers of pornography itself because they have several asides where they go off track and there's a, there's a counselor guy who, who's basically like, was it sexaddict.com? Yeah. Um, he, his job was, <laughs> if you are exposed to pornography, can ruin your personal relationships in life and your view of sex, mm -hmm. make it worse or whatever. And he was like, uh, it had nothing to do with the internet. Without it, you're going to stay stuck in the guilt. I like that he has a mini desk in his desk. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's for his, his puppy. Knowledge of sexuality. Very few uh, products talk about sex in the brain and how that will long-term damage them. And they don't I think this is the most boring looking guy in the world. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to meet someone who actually uh, crusaded for First Amendment rights in defense of all of the uh, obscene uh, material and the uh, uh, topless nude bars and clubs <gasps> and promoted them and then got into pornography through the internet and through actually reaching the point of becoming a publisher. Now, he, so crazy. He, he doesn't like the First Amendment and nudie bars. Jesus yeah. is about to make his yeah. entrance. Yeah. <laughs> the, the evangelist has, has a special guest on his show, right. and it looks like a 700 Club. Supposedly, he ran a porn website, though I don't believe that for a fucking second. <laughs> Due to everything that I had seen, and all of the graphic images that I had seen, I had, I had lost my ability <clears throat> to even have any kind of love or feelings uh, for anyone. Perhaps to even be aroused. What's the ultimate point of this video? I know we get pornography bad, Well, the but... Pornographer sits evangelical James Robinson guy down to show him how to search the World Wide Web for porn sites. All the best stuff. Still to come, James and Steve take you on a tour <laughs> of the <laughs> sure, oh, oh, oh. There they are. to get totally out. And, and we, we can't. can't. <laughs> We're pretending not to be interested. Those two, oh. those two are getting much closer. Hey, right? I'm not lying. It's pretty much, yeah, but it's under sort of the guise of like, oh, we gotta, you know, pretend, show parents. And doesn't he, at one point he say, okay, let's go a little further. Get this, 66,000 video feeds, 375 hidden cameras, over 70 live shows, 50,000 triple X images. Come and get it, 4,000 plus erotic stories, and all on 24 hours a day.
That's just one where you were trying to back out. You didn't ask for any of this. You're trying to get out of any scene that's objectionable to go somewhere else to search, and you get this. Keep moving. Let's see if we can go to a two. Tell me about this bestiality of And he enters the site, doesn't he? I'm going to show you. He does not enter it. He goes into a chat room where people are trading child porno pictures. Yeah. I see, and see, that's the reason why it's 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 Pastor Jim, right. and and if it was like, oh, this is my associate pastor, so and so, oh, let me tell you all about porno sites. I'll go here and here, and like they have to have a porno expert come in because then it'd be like, how do you who's, know all this who's stuff? reformed, oh, okay. sure. re conveniently reformed yeah. pornographic expert, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not current. To make it seem like for one to make it seem like their information is legit. Yes, yes. And also, if, if it was his associate pastor or a member of the community, he'd be like, how, how do you know so much about all these people? They have to, they have to completely <laughs> yeah, be exactly. unassociated with their knowledge well, I know of how porno I sites this. work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he says, I think the pastor says, like, so you tell me these chat rooms. You can find chat rooms that say that homosexual lifestyles is an acceptable lifestyle. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, no, yes. here we go. Uh, Steve, what about... Uh, actual websites that are set up to try to uh, attract people to a certain lifestyle, like uh, the gay lifestyle. Or, oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh. Pedophiles who may be working. Are there websites or are there ways that, that they try gay to... Gay lifestyle. Are there ways to try to get somebody's attention? Fuck that guy. And maybe make them think this is an acceptable, appropriate lifestyle, and they use the Internet to do that? Didn't they say recruit you, too, yeah, into a homosexual yeah. lifestyle? Yeah. And, and don't they bring up really oddly that and some of the, some of these people, some of these men look like models. No, no. Oh, he, no, it was the woman. Yeah, he, was it? He okay. Said, he's like, I'm, I'm looking at this page <laughs> oh, now, no, no. and and the woman does not look like a back alley hooker. <laughs> she looks like like a Hollywood like a model. Hollywood actress. <laughs> and it's like to go into All a right, different let, let direction. Let me just read under ecstasy, and we're blocking out the picture here, which is of a naked woman, and uh, and she's not a woman that looks like she was drug out of a back alley. She's more like a Hollywood model or movie star. <laughs> And he seemed very like, like, He like, knows his, his, his Hollywood, he, he knows his street walkers. Yeah. Yes, his precise, well, yeah. I know back alley prostitutes. Yes, because he doesn't know anything mm, about that. He's going to play dumb. Uh, tell me more about that. Uh, this looks mm. like a woman who could be in the motion picture industry in the <laughs> 1930s. Boy, oh boy, is she a beautiful lady. The, the humor for us comes from Pastor Jim looking over the shoulder of the guy yeah, as he's surfing the yeah. internet. And then eventually, like, like he's not looking at the porn <laughs> stuff anymore. He's like talking about cookies and temporary internet yeah, files. Boy, and at that point, so Pastor bored. Jim starts doing this. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He looks like he's uh, going to fall asleep. He's, he's not getting secret information anymore. He doesn't care. How do you delete those? <laughs> How do you delete those? And I uh, was doing some channel surfing, and we came across your television show. And I noticed uh, one of the first things that you said was pornography. And before we could switch, we heard you say that. So we wanted to watch the show just to see what you had to say, basically, about uh, the topic. Because I'm a pornographer. I stop everything I'm doing whenever I hear the word what? pornography. Pornography. Oh, boy. i got to listen to oh, this. Oh, i got to stop whatever. <laughs> my, my, my massive source of income. I'm just going to quit it. <laughs> I made hundreds of thousands of dollars, how made hundreds of thousands of dollars, how thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year on pornography. I, Jesus, it's all gone. Fuck it. <laughs> Jesus. Is that verbatim? Is that? Beauty with the Beast, Pocahontas with the Raccoon. Tell me more about this Beauty in the Beast. Oh, yes. That was, that was so weird. Specific. <laughs> the, Steve Lane, the, the quote unquote porno producer, was like, he's like, there's some really weird stuff on the internet. You're saying they count on your typos. Beauty and the Beast? There's actually a Beauty with the Beast <laughs> <laughs> of the girl from the movie Beauty with the Beast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've only heard about this. Sexually with the beast. Right. So he goes now, if like a child was looking for beauty and the beast, oh, then oh, oh, all of a sudden then it's porno. Yeah. Beauty and the bestiality. 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 
<laughs> right, right. And he's like, and he's like, and it's a woman making love to a beast. Into bestiality. But then he's like, and the, bestiality. He's Twice like, he's like, and there's a Pocahontas version. He kept bringing well. up the like Pocahontas. Beauty on the Beast or something. What was it called? Pocahontas with the raccoon. Yeah, but but he too. he brought a Pocahontas he porn did. multiple times. Same thing with Pocahontas. Which was really oddly specific. Weird. And then what was the other one? Barbie. Yeah. If they uh, say accidentally type a, a Barbie sex porno. <laughs> <laughs> but that was just like total bullshit. Like like fear tactics. Like oh, he's yeah. Like, he's like, that the page cannot be closed now that you've opened it to a porno site. And then he's like, you have to open a new page, but even if you type in any address, it keeps linking you it'll, back to it'll porn. It'll open up more porno. Like it's, it was basically like, men, don't even try this. Now are we going out? Uh, well, I don't know. No, we didn't. No, we went to another one. Now we went, went to, to another one. Totally different. This one says club picks teens, teenage sex videos, right? That's right. Don't even try to look up porno in your home because y windows will just keep opening <laughs> and you cannot, you can't even shut your computer off. Yes. It was just like misinformation. <laughs> like your wife's gonna come in the room. What are you doing? You know, you're looking at porno and then. Well, even in the intro, remember they had yeah. like the kind of like scenarios and they had that kid like, oh my God, this yeah, is all yeah. these pop-ups. I can't close it. I can't I can't close close it. it. My yeah. mom's gonna kill me. Oh, uh, James Lane now heads up an evangelic evangelical ministry. Serving as an instrument of God to help free people from the addictive powers of pornography. And the, the free people from homosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> and protect America's children from the snares of cyber porn. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Cyber porn. <laughs> Porn with robots. We gotta get rid of the cyber porn. Cyber porn. Like, like Robocop, where they like graph machine parts onto pornography? <laughs> Cybernetically enhanced porn? Cyborg porn. Uh, uh, well, let, let's, let's. It's like a robot with a dildo. Just... No, it's just like the, the, it was the arms that like assemble cars, the robot arms. <laughs> that was King Tut style. <laughs> that's where King Tut, uh, or that's where Mr. Wiggles works in the Ford factory. He used to work at the, the, the Tesla assembly plant. Yeah, assembling cars. Tesla style. We need your precision, <laughs> Mr. Wiggles. <laughs> He's gonna fool the assembly line. I'll just blend in. Why are all these Tesla cars recalled? <laughs> Mr. Mr. Wiggles! Wiggles. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, uh, mm? $500 million worth of technological robots or Mr. Wiggles <laughs> for, for eight, eight fifty an hour. <laughs> More than he makes at the Burger King drive-thru. <laughs> Mr. Wiggles, get to work on these Teslas. <laughs> Mr. Wiggles, the big order's due tomorrow and all the robots broke down. You have to save the factory. <laughs> Elon Musk is like tweeting about him. Mr. Wiggles is, is the bomb. He saved my factory. <laughs> oh my God. Mr. Gonna... Wiggles, how many cars did you finish today? 35. I got one done, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mr. Wiggles! <laughs> you were supposed to get 5,000 done. Go, sometimes, Elon, you can do this, and then you gotta keep your palm together and just keep it like that. <laughs> Change it up. Do whatever you want. Oh my God, the battery's on fire. <laughs> this is gonna burn horribly. The door's on upside down. <laughs> sometimes, you just do what you want. Change it up. Change it up. Elon, the door's on upside down. Send it out, ship it. We gotta make our 3,500 a week. We're gonna need to have Mr. Wiggles be the engine for this car. <laughs> I can't go any faster, you know what he's, I'm saying? He's doing the, the crankshaft inside the engine. He's just connecting the electrical connection. And the windshield wipers are popping. <laughs> Rolling any way you want, you know what I'm saying? It just adds a little effect. Um, uh, well, we have to pick a best of the worst first. Is there? Uh, well. Is there? You have to pick um, one, best okay, of the worst. Okay. I mean, so we're gonna start with Rich. Go. Ooh. Yeah, I know, it's, it's, it's. Oh, oh God. Oh, I. I think it's pretty did easy. We, I guess we laugh more at old crones? I guess I'm going with old crones. Okay, Jim. Hug a tree for sure, because there were some useful things in it. It was entertaining, funny. <laughs> 
Uh, and Colin, your choice for best of the worst. I'm going to agree with Jim that Hug a Tree and Survive Canada is my favorite. Well, I, I have to side with Rich here. Uh, Celebration of Age is my pick for best really? of the worst. Yeah. Um, I I thought it was great. Okay. It reminded me a lot of. <laughs> It, no, it, it reminded me, what's the video, tel, tel, Telepathy with Animals? Yeah, yeah, it was like that. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of that, like a crackpot home video yeah. of um, some new age nonsense. Uh, but so much comedy we mined from this, from the Paul McCartney song to the old lady yeah, banging on okay. the drum who has wet herself, the guy filming her with the telescopic lens, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy's cameo at the end. I mean, there's a lot going on yeah. in Celebration of Age. I guess I'd forgotten all that stuff. Um, Hug a Tree and Survive Canada has its moments, but you know, and you got you know, props to Mr. Wiggles. And yeah, and you know, I agree with Pastor Jim, homosexuality is a sin. Uh, and you know, you know <laughs> what? Uh, and so, you know, I agreed with a lot of his points. Wait, hold on. But, um, you know, and he's, he's trying to teach you how, how to be careful on the internet. Uh, but I didn't find it the best video. I agreed with all of his messaging. So I'm going, so, so these are our two winners. This is one of those rare things where it is a tape that's sold in, in a mystical gift shop in, in Sedona, Arizona, and it's, it very well could be the only tape left. Okay. These two I hate At least more. the disgusting Christian propaganda tape. For sure. This yeah. one, this one's kind of harmless. Yo, yo, yo. Hey there, I'm Mr. Jiggles, and I'm gonna show you King Gut style. And you gotta wiggle your hands around like it's cool, but kind of with an awkward motion. Oh, look at that. Flip flop style. Under, under the hutch. And this teapot. Mr. Teapot, switch it up, switch it up, oh yeah. What? World Wide Web of Deceit? I'm gonna show you a move called the Tape Stomp. Yeah! Wise woman, wise woman, wise woman sitting here. Wise woman, wise woman, wise woman here. Wise woman, young woman, nestling me at her breast. Wise woman, young woman, giving me her best.